what is going on guys check this out this is a macbook air from 2012. i mean this is 2025 and i just had this old macbook air from 2012 lying around and i just thought that i have to show you what this thing is still capable of doing um you know that it's probably not going to be much but still just the fact that you could just get it up and running and look this is this thing has never been opened once and yet we are operating without a charger. Battery is still working fine. Um, we're still at 100%. I'll show you in just one second. Um, it's just amazing to see that this thing is still going strong. Let me just go off and start from what we have for the ports because this is one of those things that uh, the MacBook Air, while we have what we have right now, is just it has those two USB C ports with the headphone jack. But back in the day, you know, this used to come with uh, all the all the good ports. So we have dedicated MagSafe charger, the original, uh, used to always work fantastic. USB port, uh, even though it's uh, outdated and it still is pretty useful. Um, we got a headphone jack and this is a microphone. So you could have still used this without any external microphone whatsoever. Um, we have the classic wedge shape. So you could see that this thing was tiny. This thing was slim. Uh, of course, the huge bezels are worth thing, but for the time, it was just amazing. Um, and then on the right side, we used to have this uh, lightning port. Um, I, I can't actually remember. Please, guys, don't uh, butcher me for this. This wasn't... I think this is a mini display port, maybe. Um, yeah, that was uh, to connect to an external display. In fact, I was just thinking that maybe I would uh, hook this up to an external display, but uh, I just didn't have that, uh, I had that connector, you know, so... That was uh, what was needed at the time. Uh, another USB port, and we used to have the micro SD slot. Uh, I mean, a mini SD card slot. Um, again, you know, this is one of those things that uh, we have completely forgotten that it exists on MacBook Air. Um, so that's what we had for ports. Uh, you could see the design: uh, very thin, very, uh, very, very slim uh, design from the front. The classic wedge shape design. Nothing on the back. Just the air vents. Uh, this used to come with the fan inside. So, yes, indeed, uh, it. Um, but you see the thing, and so of course uh, the classic uh, Mac logo that used to light up, uh, which uh, personally I miss a lot. But hey, it's just uh, something we don't have anymore. Um, what I wanted to say was something about the design. To be honest, you could just really, it's, this computer is 13 years old. And yet you could just think that it's, uh, it's very, very fresh. You know, you could, it doesn't look out of place in 2025. Um, you take the latest MacBook Air, um, the M1 models, uh, which was the last one with the wedge shape style. Um, it's of course, this one is much heavier than the MacBook Air M1. But it's just, uh, in terms of design, it looks pretty pretty much similar to it. Let's just finish with the hardware first. Um, to me, one of the most important things in computers is the input output, uh, the, the keyboard, the trackpad, and the screen. Uh, speakers a little bit less because I always end up using the earphones or the headphones. Um, so I don't uh, bother too much about the speakers. Um, but of course that's important as well. But those three things, what you see, what you type and what you point with is just the most important thing in my opinion. So um, starting with the trackpad. So there has been a lot of progress made in on the Windows side in terms of trackpads. And to be honest, I would say that this trackpad from 2012 is still something that is uh, very, 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 very cool. Because um, I have to say that the gestures, the, the tracking, the clicks, everything is just buttery smooth on this. Uh, you, you have no exp you have no problems whatsoever with this. And on the Mac side, of course, these days you have much bigger trackpads that take up a lot, lot of space. And uh, I'm one of the users of a fairly newer Mac and uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just that um, for the time, this was amazing. And even now I would not have, I won't mind having to use this on a daily basis. So thumbs up for the trackpad. Then the keyboard, just the typing experience that you get on this keyboard is pretty good. Uh, the spaced out keys are fine. Um, the travel is great. Um, the key placement, everything is just pretty cool. And you see that this keyboard has been used for a long time and you could clearly read all the letters. You could clearly, clearly read everything on each and every key. The printing is just still amazing. Uh, and that's just uh, a mark of a high quality keyboard. 
and then there's the screen so this screen is definitely something that has dated and it hasn't aged great uh, it's still a fine display to look at stuff it's a tn panel so that's uh, one of the things that on the macbook air at this time they were giving out tn panels um it's also a 720p display uh it did not have a full hd display uh, for this model um also you can see that uh, the bezels on this thing are huge on all four sides uh, we have the huge bezels um, this definitely looks something that is uh, dated uh, this definitely doesn't look something that is uh, in 2025 uh, up to date but again for the time it was fine uh, we were not used to having bezel less displays and now moving on to the performance um so Clearly, you cannot have this as a very reliable machine, let's say, or something that you're going to do very critical work on or intense work on. But again, honestly, you could totally find some very, you could find like a range of use cases for this computer today. This is a MacBook from uh, mid-2012. It's the 13-inch version. Uh, dual core processor, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and it came with a 256 gigs uh, storage. The storage on this thing was uh, pretty fast for the time. And even by today's standard, it's not bad, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to complain that a 13-year-old Mac is not giving me fast storage. Even today, if you take a computer that has a regular spinning hard drive, uh, this is still going to perform much better. So that's uh, a tour of what this computer was spec with. So this was the base model. Let's just see, you know, what we can do. Um, let's see, let's try to open Excel um, and check out the battery time, by the way. So it's at 90%. I've been using it for the past 20 minutes, let's say, or it was on 100% charge. Um, again, uh, we can do a point on the battery later, but the thing is that I would say that this is not something that you should be relying on. Uh, okay, if you have a six hour flight and uh, you, you wanna use it 100%, it's not gonna happen. Um, in my opinion, what this would be great for is just you use it plugged into a charger. Um, and then, you know, so if you have to move, if you, if the power is out or I don't know, like if you don't have access to a charger, if you have to say work, uh, if you're in class, uh, you could just quickly do that. You know, you could just save your work. Uh, you could just, uh, do some light stuff, uh, while waiting for getting access to a charger. I don't know. Um, I think that would be a good use case for this. So let's see, we, yeah, so we opened Excel. Um, let's open a new file. It's not activated. It's just uh, been so long that I have uh, lost access to it. But but yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's try to, uh, let's try to see if we can do some, uh, some basic stuff. The point of showing this to you is that it works. You know, like uh, we have this Excel file working. We're not gonna save this. Uh, let's see what we can do apart from that. Uh, I would have loved to use uh, the Wi-Fi and the internet on this, but um, I'm not using it deliberately because I know that if I connect it to Wi-Fi, it's gonna start updating and that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long process. So let me know if you really want to see some internet stuff and how the internet browsing is on this thing. I would definitely make a video on that. So uh, please let me know if you if you feel like it. But just to show you that, like if you click on Safari, it's pretty pretty quick to open it and uh yeah if you have uh, okay these are fake tabs they're not working but let's try to do some multiple apps so if you have excel open and uh what else could you have open uh let's see let's um oh here you know might as well just look into the system information uh yeah this is the battery uh information so yeah here you could see the this the number of cycles that this has gone through so this has gone through 1179 cycles and still here it says the condition is normal i mean maybe it's me or i feel like the older max were just built different you know like uh, the quality of this battery is just still pretty amazing you know like that many cycles and still it's at normal and it still holds up charge great um that's pretty cool by the way i just noticed one thing that uh you see this uh location thing that keeps pop popping up uh I don't know what's using uh, the location, but maybe if you can turn off this location thing and it doesn't use it all the time, um, the battery would be even better. So um, we'll have to look into that. But yeah, um, I feel like this is uh, pretty much it. Um, yeah, it's still running in the background. Uh, Safari is still running. Uh, you have Excel still running and the regular process is still running. I think maybe pretty soon I will uh, 
make a, a short video on the Wi-Fi usage and how it performs with the internet and um, and so you could just get a complete idea of how this thing is working but so that's pretty much it for me and uh, yeah it's been great to have this revisit of a MacBook Air from 2012 in mid 2025 working completely independently no uh, charger connected uh, we went through a few things uh, it wasn't very intense usage but um, it's just too refreshing to see this so Thanks again, guys. Um, I hope, thank you for watching this and uh, hope to see you very soon. Take care.